two Earth-directed CMEs hit Earth at the same time last night. The second one had an estimated speed of about 4.4 million miles per hour, or about 7.1 million kilometers an hour. And as I was editing this video, confirmation of a third CME came through, which means that we may be up for another nice show tonight and possibly tomorrow night as well. Last night's hit gave us this incredible show. This time lapse was captured from the outskirts of Boston in a Bortle 8 area. And it was all thanks to Sunspot 4274. I took this photo of the sun on November 7th, showing active region 4274 before the X5.1 class solar flare. I was hoping it would deliver something spectacular, and it definitely did. We may see another burst of auroras tonight, but how can you tell that we're actually going to get a show? I recommend checking spaceweather.gov. It pulls data from NOAA, and it shows helpful real-time values like solar wind speed, faster is better, and two IMF or interplanetary magnetic field components, BT and BZ. Neither are predictable as far as I know, or not directly predictable. And BT is the strength of the magnetic field measured in nanoteslas, or NT. A higher number means a stronger field, which can make for a more intense battle between the solar wind and the Earth's magnetic field. BZ is even more important. It tells us the direction of the magnetic field lines. And when BZ is negative, the field is oriented southward, which is great for us, which allows more solar particles to interact with the Earth's magnetosphere. Last night's BZ value peaked at negative 51 with a BT of 54, an extremely strong combination. The IMF data comes from NOAA's Discover satellite stationed at the Sun-Earth L1 Lagrange point. It continuously monitors the solar wind and magnetic field in real time. Another helpful number is the KP index, which runs from 0 to 9, and it indicates the overall strength of the geomagnetic activity. It's a simple way to get a sense of how strong the storm really is. Last night's storm peaked at KP 8.67, but I think we can safely round up to a KP 9 event. And what's more important than the KP index is probably your local weather forecast. So make sure you look at the forecast and if it's possible, go to an area with fewer or no clouds. Huge thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee supporters, and YouTube members for making all these projects possible. Please enjoy the time lapse once more along with some stills from my camera and phone. Cheers guys.